Hi everyone, this is Evelyn, and yep, I'm back, not with a tutorial, and I know I've been um, away from YouTube for a while, and I'm going to share with you guys what I experienced, and hopefully maybe it can help you in the long run, hoping that it would never happen to anyone. On March 20, my mother caught a massive stroke, she's 90 years old, the hardest thing ever. Just so you know, she's still here with us. Okay. It's just, um, I haven't been so active because we've been taking care of our mother. Like I said, it striked her on March 20. And with the hope of uh, when she was in critical condition in ICU, they gave us, you know, hope. They told her that her mother was in life support. They told her she would never wake up. Um, to make a decision whether we want to shut the machine off. I just hate that word. I don't know how people do it, but <laughs> we said no. We said no. We have faith in God, and I respect anybody's religion. I'm going to talk about God here because He has a lot of part of what's going on with my mom. So, um, they gave us no hope. They precious us. I felt like we was fighting against the devil and us. Because it made it look like a monster. Like, why would you want a 9 years old woman that caught a stroke? Because, you know, a massive stroke, she's not going to be normal. You know, you know she's going to be like a vegetable. We said no. I said, if God wants her, he'll take her in his home. We couldn't make that decision. It's the hardest thing. And my mother didn't even give us uh, any update if something like this ever happened, what to do. Maybe, maybe it would have been easier for us, but she never did. The only thing she ever said that if her heart stopped to not resuscitate her, to let her go. So we respect that. Um, I don't know. Our heart kept on saying to hang on. So that's what we did. With a lot of praying and a lot of faith. As they, you know, days went by and went by, it was almost two weeks and a half, they had to make a decision that they had needed to take the tube that was making her breathe, as they say, that, you know, was keeping her alive, to put a trip on her neck. So we signed paper for it, and we had it done. At that time of that surgery, I prayed, and I should say I, we, my sisters, nine of us, we lost one sister many years ago, so there's six girls and two brothers. But you know, with the brother, it's so hard for him to cater his own mother, which we understand, that's our mother. So we did, the six girls, we rotate. Um, so we, we, we said it, if she were to, if God chose to take her on that table on the time of that surgery, we'd give it in his hands. But for some reason, my mother came out of it. I mean, not came out of the, uh, I came out of the, the um, surgery. She did fine with the trick. She was still, you know, with the heartbeat, but still not awake. Um, like she was like in a semi coma, but was able to do this. So times went by. I think they kept her one more week in the um, ICU before they had to transfer her into a uh, rehab nursing home, kind of. That's what they called it. And we search to everyone and we thank God, you know, it was best to get her one of the best one. It had five spots with great review. And the best spot is that we are, uh, we could stay, one person could stay overnight. I got a post for this, so I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. That was uh, my sister giving me an update of our mother. Because like I said, we rotate. And my days is on Wednesdays and Saturdays. The six of us, so we rotate and stay with our mother. Like I said, we don't leave her out of our sight. Mm -mm, ain't happening. Because, you, you know, you hear scary stories about these nurses with um, bed sores and infection. And I count my blessings. So far, she's not in that position because we're there. We're, we're there. We're there. There's no way. They're going to they're gonna switch her every two hours and make sure they change her. I also get involved with it because we have to learn. You know, to do this because eventually she will be coming home. 
so we have to learn this. But our goal is is to get the trick out. But um, I want to go back and tell you about what I was about to share, which is guys the, the bad experience. How you know they wanted us to shut the machine, and it, it was just so crazy. It was a back and forth, a lot of pressure, but we fought back. You know, in the grace of God, He helped us out in a lot of ways. And after the surgery and the trick, they waited one week. She did okay. She still was in a semi coma, not awake. But when she got transferred to the nursing home, that was the first one, um, you know, to work with her and so. Two days later, when she was transferred, they wanted to test to see if she was able to breathe on her own. So she was breathing. She was breathing. There was no life support. It was never a life support. It's so, it's so crazy. So they took the, the bar, they put a bar in, which means they closed it up. My mother breath, um, breathed for one hour. One hour. I cannot, I just, I, I can't even cry anymore because it was the most beautiful thing to see. Our mother, who was not supposed to get up, um, not open her eyes. That's what they were told. Us. So um, the next day, they try her out. She breathed for three hours on her own, okay? And then from day on and day by, went by, went by, my mother is breathing on her own now with a little bit of help of oxygen, just very little. She's, her eyes are open. She started to respond, meaning that she's waking out of that stroke. Now remember, the doctor said she would never open her eyes she would never, you know, without the um, breathing machine, she won't be able to survive that. She's breathing on her own as I speak on this video. I think, gosh, we, oh, I, can't, I can't tell you how, you guys, I mean, it's got to be fate and love. And that's exactly what my mother taught us. We pray so hard. We pray so hard for this. And if it wasn't for our Father in heaven, I don't know where my mother would be today because he has a lot of part of it. When we said, when they told us to shut the machine down, we said, no, I said, the only person that's going to shut my mother off is that man above. He made that decision. We don't, not the doctor, because I don't care if she was even a life support. If her destiny is to say, come home, she's going home. That's my grief. But she didn't. My mother is now knowing who we are. She says, Mom, this is Evelyn. Am I your daughter? She, her response, she can't talk yet. She, her response is, we say in Spanish, uh, Mami, dame pesito means, Mom, give me a kiss. She goes like this. It's amazing, amazing. This 90 year old woman that was supposed to not wake up and this is a life support. It's breathing on her own. It's faith. It's prayer. It's love. It, it combines to one. For those guys, I, I advise you guys to let your loved one know what they want if something were to happen to them. It's so important because we never discuss that. We have to learn this in a hard way. I now and my sister is letting our kids know what we want if something like this would be happening because it was a battle, a battle. But I went by my our heart and that and we was all in the same pace. All seven of us was all in the same pace. Um, we're leaving it up to God. He he got this that this is his child, you know what I'm saying? He wants to keep her keep her with the support. I'm gonna have a glass because my mouth is getting dry over here. Oh. So, guys, honest speaking, please, it's so important to have the loved one tell you, share what your feeling is, is something, if you had to stroll for in a coma, what do you want out of this? It helps a lot, I'm going to be honest, it does, that's one. Two, for our experience, my mother wasn't that, um, Brett dead, uh, what do we call that, uh, Brain that is that what they call it? She was she had a lot of damage in her in her brain. She did, but for her to be alert and and respond, did they say a hundred percent that her brain was damaged? 
And if, I truly believe, and what I read is that if a person is that 100% um, damaged, you know, they don't know. They won't respond to anything. That's the faith that we have with God. We pray to be stored for. We pray every day, every night. We go on the chat. My mother's in that chat. And we pray. Your belief, your faith, the love you have for God, the love you have for your loved ones, which I, we love our mother very, very much. And she's here today. I have to thank that man above every day, every day, every day. But what I'm saying to you guys is, if you in ever in that position and you don't know, if they never gave you what to do, follow your heart. Trust me on that. Follow how you feel. Forget about what they think. She's a 90 years old woman. Would you want her to live? Would you want her to live like that? That was the attitude we got from them, honestly. Just because she's 90 years old, she has still had rights to live. It got, you know, she's still with it. She's breathing. Why Why not? Why Why? because she's 90 years old? You just say goodbye to her just like that? That's the attitude that these doctors do. Don't get me wrong. I thank God for him giving a gift to them because they have saved lots of lives. And, and I thank them at a time. But they added to towards elderly. I think that's not I think that's so wrong. It's so wrong. So just to share a little bit of our good news for those that have faith and believe. If you can join our I would love for you guys to pray for my mom. Her name is Ruth Rivera. I'll be so appreciated. There's also a uh, a lady named by Carmen Camp, uh, Catherine, something like that. I'll put her link down. She is an amazing person. I, I, I got to give a lot of respect to her. She went through a lot. Her talent and work is doing beautiful reads. But in before she does her crafty, she prays. She has a date where she prays. And there's a lot of people join, asking to pray for that person, pray for her. And this is a woman that's gone through so much. It's making her time to pray first and then after that she does her craft i think that's beautiful beautiful if you guys are interested like i said i'm gonna put her link down she's awesome awesome and if everybody thinks that she's doing this for money no not really no no she don't have to spend her time praying for what she don't even know who i am and she's praying for my mom she's praying for my mom it feels so good to have a, a person that you don't even know that prays for someone that's beautiful that's beautiful so um, for the newbies, guys, this is the first time that I ever share of a, a, a story. A sass, I don't really want to consider this a sad story, but this is an experience for me when I went through our mother. She's still here, here with us, and I thank God for that. And um, but my channel is not going to be all about that. This is because I've been away away from YouTube, and I got several emails, and I'm happy because I be, I'm not a popular YouTube person in in, in, the, in that industry. I'm just a beginner. Love to share what I do, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna continue, and I'm gonna start back to it. It's just that you know this is like the first time this has ever happened to us, and you know my concentration now is to focus on her health, on her, and what she needs. And so far, God has given that gift that she's alert, she's waking up. You know, she has her bad days, she has her good days. But you expect that this is a 90 years old woman, right? I love her so much. But um, for the UB, uh, newbies, if you bump into my channel, please subscribe. Because like I said, it's not a, this channel. I never did this before, share this thing in all my channels. So I'll be coming back with some tutorial, hopefully. And Rita, if you're watching me, because I know you will, <laughs> I can't wait to get your package because I know it's going to make me smile. And for, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I haven't worked on anything, but I promise you I will get yours out too, okay? That's the truth for you. And for those guys that don't know me, once again, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you need a prayer, put uh, I, I'd be glad to pray for whoever your loved one is. That's what it's all about. When you get a amount of people, a big circle with no gap in the middle, it's going to help a lot. So if you need that prayer, don't hesitate. Leave that in the comment. And if you join that group, let comment know that Evelyn sent me there too, okay? So you guys have a blessed day.
and hopefully you'll see me soon. God bless. Okay, I'm back. That was uh, my sister giving me an update of our mother. But like I said, we rotate. And my days is on Wednesdays and Saturdays. The sister, so we rotate and stay with our mother. Like I said, we don't leave her out of sight. Mm -mm, it ain't happening. Because, you, you know, you hear scary stories about these nurses with um, bed sores and infection. And I gotta count my blessings. So far, she's not in that position because we're down. We're there. We're there. There's no way they're gonna they're gonna switch her every two hours and make sure they change her. I also get involved with it because we have to learn, you know, to do this because eventually she will be coming home. So we have to learn us. But our goal is is to get the trick out. But um, I wanted to go back and tell you about what I was about to share with you guys the, the bad experience. How you know they wanted us to shut the machine and it, it was just so crazy. It was a back and forth. A lot of pressure but we fought back you know in the grace of God he helped us out in a lot of ways and after the surgery and the trick they waited one week she did okay she still was in a semi convent not awake but when she got transferred to the nursing home that was the first one um, you know to work with her and so two days later when she was transferred they wanted to test to see if she was able to breathe on her own so she was breathing she was breathing. There was no life support. It was never a life support. It's so it's so crazy. So they took the the bar, they put a bar in, which means they closed it up. My mother breath on um, breathed for one hour. One hour. I can like I just I, I can't even cry anymore because it was the most beautiful thing to see. Our mother, who was not supposed to get up, um, not open her eyes. That's what they were told us. So um, the next day, they try her out. She breathed for three hours on her own. Okay? And then from day on and day by, went by, went by. My mother is breathing on her own now with a little bit of help of oxygen. Just very little. She's, her eyes are open. She started to respond, meaning that she's waking out of that stroke. Now remember, doctor said she would never open her eyes. She would never, you know, without the um, breathing machine, she won't be able to survive that. She's breathing on her own as I speak on this video. I think, gosh, we, oh, I, can't, I can't tell you how, you guys, I mean, it's got to be Faith and love, and that's exactly what my mother taught us. We pray so hard. We pray so hard for this. And if it wasn't for our Father in Heaven, I don't know where my mother would be today. Because He has a lot of part of it. When we said, when they told us to shut the machine down, we said, no. I said, the only person that's going to shut my mother off is that man above. He made that decision. We don't, not the doctor, because I don't care if she was even a life support. If her destiny is to say, come home, she's going home. That's my grief. But she didn't. My mother is now knowing who we are. She says, Mom, this is Evelyn. Am I your daughter? She, her response, she can't talk yet. She, her response is, we say in Spanish, uh, Mami, dame pesito means, Mom, give me a kiss. She goes like this. It's amazing. Amazing. This 90 year old woman that was supposed to not wake up and live on a life support. It's breathing on her own. It's faith. It's prayer. It's love. It, it combines to one. For those guys, I, I advise you guys. To let your loved one know what they want if something were to happen to them. It's so important because we never discussed that. We have to learn this in a hard way. I now and my sister is letting our kids know what we want if something like this would be happening. Because it was a battle. A battle. But I went by my our heart and that and we was all in the same pace. All seven of us was all in the same pace. Um we're leaving it up to God. He, he got this. That This is his child. You know what I'm saying? He wants to keep her. Keep her. 
with the support. I'm going to have a glass because my mouth is getting dry over here. <laughs> mm. So, guys, honest speaking, please, it's so important to have the loved one tell you, share what your feeling is. Is something, if your cat is stroke, was in a coma, what do you want out of this? It helps a lot. I'm going to be honest, it does. That's one. Two, for our experience, my mother wasn't that, um, brain dead. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, brain dead? Is that what they call it? She was, she had a lot of damage in her, in her brain. She did. But for her to be alert and, and respond, because they say 100% that her brain was damaged. And it, I, I truly believe, and what I read is that if a person is that 100% um, damaged, you know, they don't know. They won't respond to anything. That's the faith that we have with God. We pray to restore her. We pray every day, every night. We go in the chat. My mother's in that chat, and we pray. Your belief, your faith, the love you have for God, the love you have for your loved ones, which I, we love our mother very, very much. And she's here today. I have to thank that man above every day, every day, every day. But what I'm saying to you guys is, if you in ever in that position, and you don't know, and they never gave you what to do, follow your heart. Trust me on that. Follow how you feel. Forget about what they think. She's a 90 years old woman. Would you want her to live? Would you want her to live like that? That was the attitude we got from them, honestly. Just because she's 90 years old, she has still had rights to live. It got, you know, she's still with us. She's breathing. Why Why not? Why? Why? Because she's 90 years old? You just say goodbye to her just like that? That's the attitude that these doctors do. Don't get me wrong. I thank God for him giving a gift. To them because they have saved lots of lives and th and I thank them every time. But they added to towards elderly. I think that's not. I think that's so wrong. It's so wrong. So just to share a little bit of our good news for those that have faith and believe. If you can join our, I would love for you guys to pray for my mom. Her name is Ruth Rivera. I'll be so appreciated. There's also a, uh, a lady named by Carmen Catherine, uh, something like that. I'll put her link down. She is an amazing person. I, I, I got to give a lot of respect to her. She went through a lot. Her talent and work is doing beautiful read. But in before she does her crafty, she prays. She has a date where she prays, and there's a lot of people joined asking to pray for that person, pray for her. And this is a woman that's gone through so much is making her time to pray first. And then after that, she does her craft. I think that's beautiful, beautiful. If you guys are interested, like I said, I'm going to put her link down. She's awesome, awesome. And if everybody thinks that she's doing this for money, no, not really, no, no. She doesn't have to spend her time praying for what She don't even know who I am. And she's praying for my mom. Praying for my mom. It feels so good to have a, a person that you don't even know that prays for someone. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So um, for the newbies, guys, this is the first time that I ever share of, of, of a story. A sad, I don't even want to consider this a sad story, but this is an experience for me when I went through our mother. She's still here, here with us, and I thank God for that. And um, but my channel's not going to be all about that. This is because I've been away, away from YouTube and I got several emails and I'm happy because I be, I'm not a popular YouTube person in, in, the, in the industry. I'm just a beginner. Love to share what I do and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue and I'm going to start back to it. It's just that, you know, this is like the first time this has ever happened to us. And, you know, my concentration now is to focus on her health, on her and what she needs. And so far, God has given that gift that she's alert, she's waking up. You know, she has her bad days, she has her good days. But you expect that this is a 90 years old woman, right? I love her so much. But um, for the UB, uh, newbies, if you bump into my channel, please subscribe. Because like I said, it's not a, this channel. I never did this before, share this thing in all my channels. 
So I'll be coming back with some tutorial, hopefully. And Rita, if you're watching me, because I know you will, <laughs> I can't wait to get your package because I know it's going to make me smile. And but and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I haven't worked on anything, but I promise you I will get yours out too, okay? That's the truth for you. And for those guys that don't know me, once again, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you need a prayer, put. I, I, I'd be glad to pray for whoever your loved one is. That's what it's all about. When you get a mount of people, a big circle with no gap in the middle, it's going to help a lot. So if you need that prayer, don't hesitate. Leave that in the comment. And if you join that group, let comment know that Evelyn sent me there too, okay? So you guys have a blessed day, and hopefully you'll see me soon. God bless.